Okay, we're going to talk a little bit now about, uh, about animals in, in the holiday season and animals in the winter time. This is, <laughs> this is Blitzer. He's very fond of some of the things I have here that we're going to talk about in a second. Um, it's, it's, it's very important to keep in mind when the weather turns cold that you should bring your animals inside, cats and dogs. Um, you may think that they're pretty tough and that they can stand pretty cold weather. This guy, uh, we have these two huskies uh, have a tendency to be uh, very good cold weather dogs. They, they lie in a, in a very closed circle and you can put your hand inside on, on this dog's belly and it's almost uh, too, too hot to touch. Um, they generate a lot of heat. But um, studies have shown that dogs exposed to excessive cold tend to get arthritis and, and other kinds of things as they get older. Um, and I assume that that's, that's true. So bring your dogs and, and cats in on cold winter nights. We have two cats inside here, and um, one of them is especially fond of going out, but when the cold weather hits, that uh, cat has to become an inside cat. Um, keep in mind also the point that, that uh, snow and ice tend to uh, give the dogs uh, difficulty in walking, and uh, they can be injured. And it, they, uh, the snow and ice also masks the uh, smell the smell of, of a dog and they uh, sometimes lose their way. 